In northern Canada, oil companies have dug up roughly 180,000 acres of once pristine wilderness to mine a dirty sludge-like fuel called tar sands. Each day, the process generates millions of gallons of toxic waste called tailings that are stored in enormous man-made holding ponds. With little government oversight, observers fear they represent a growing threat to local health and the environment. They're not just ponds. They're great lakes of toxic waste and chemicals that, that are so deadly that they have to keep animals away from them. Investigative journalist Ted Genoese wrote a major story on the tar sands and their impact for the December issue of Outside Magazine. It's a shocking scene to, to witness and the scale is just sort of hard to comprehend. Today, more than 200 billion gallons of liquid toxic waste is stored over an area about the size of Washington, D.C. Industry's solution to this water toxic problem is to basically store the water for hundreds of years. They have not accepted responsibility for the legacy of pollution that they actually created. The Pembina Institute, a Canadian nonprofit that focuses on climate and energy, says the tailings contain a mix of deadly contaminants that is acutely toxic to aquatic organisms and mammals. We know that millions of gallons every day are leaching into the Athabasca watershed and there is nothing being done to prosecute the companies um, or to stop this problem. Tony Boschman worked for Canadian environmental enforcement agencies for 20 years. He says he quit in 2007 because he was not being allowed to do his job. Today he works as an environmental consultant for the First Nations in the region. They pretty much did what they wanted to do up here and, and that was very evident. There's a lot of stuff going on that's not being caught, captured, or corrected. You don't put tailings ponds next to a river. You know, something's going to happen. In August 2014, a breach at a copper mine tailings pond in neighboring British Columbia poured millions of gallons of wastewater into a river that supports a vital salmon habitat. That's the kind of disaster that local residents fear in Alberta. We have to get after the regulators. It's the government that's allowing them to kill our fish, kill our animals, and, and kill our people. In May 2014, the Canadian government responded to complaints that it has failed to investigate tailings pond safety. Both the government of Canada and the province of Alberta are effectively enforcing their environmental laws. But many Alberta residents have little faith in the government's words. The feeling really is that they have been abandoned. That when they have a valid legal claim, the government is not going to side with them. That no matter what the rules are, that industry will win out. And that's had a devastating effect, really, on the spirit of these communities.